Hello, this is MathCasts with Mr. Burko, and uh, you're listening to Chapter 12.3, Constructing Tessellations Using Rotations. Uh, in our textbook, we are looking at page 457, and we're going to be learning how to use rotations to create tessellated planes, and also to create tessellating patterns using two or more polygons. So uh, here is an example of a tessellated plane that's using two polygons. We have a hexagon and we have a triangle. But on your textbook, uh, there's a specific example that I want to discuss. We're looking now at page 458, and uh, there is a tessellated pattern a lot like this one that I'm showing you here. The colors are the same. It's kind of looking like a molecule the way I've drawn it, but it's essentially the same example as in the book. And the question is what polygons and what transformation could be used to create this tessellation? Well, what uh, you can see is you have a whole bunch of hexagons. Some of them are green, some of them are yellow, and some of them are purple. And uh, so the solution to this is that the tessellating tile can be made up of a regular hexagon that has been rotated three times to make a complete turn. So if you, if you did take one of these hexagons, actually these ones are all grouped together, so I'm just going to break them apart. I'm going to ungroup them, and I've got uh, one little hexagon all on his own. And uh, if I change the um, if I change the center of rotation around, uh, right now it's rotating around the center. But if I change the center of rotation around that node, then what I can do is I can rotate it uh, th three times to make a complete turn. So I'm going to rotate it one time. I'm going to rotate it again. And I'm going to rotate it one more time to make a three turn. What I'm rotating it by, uh, by the way, is 120 degrees. And that's what the interior angles of this regular polygon are, is 120 degrees. So we know we can tessellate, you might remember from lesson 12.1, uh, if the, in the angles where the, uh, where the polygons join equal 360 degrees. And of course, that's what 100 20 times 3 equals. It equals 360 degrees. So we do have that in our, uh, in our polygons here. So uh, the book considers these, th this group of three as one tile. Okay, so it's, it's one tile and it kind of fits in like that. And uh, the, the, the book explains that it's been rotated, one regular hexagon has been rotated three times to make a complete term, and that the three hexagons forming the tile can be translated horizontally and diagonally to enlarge the tessellation. So how do I translate horizontally? Well, I take my hexagon and I can translate it like that. Right, or I could translate it down here. So that's a translation, just a direct translation. So what I've got is a whole bunch of these patterns that fit together. I'm just breaking up my tessellation here and uh, I can put them all back to where they were before and we can make this nice and neat again, just the way it was before. But that's one way to make it. Of course, you know, there's there's other ways to look at a translated, um, or sorry, tessellated plane, and to think about how you could have created that plane. But this is one, and only using one polygon, obviously. This has been MathCast with Mr. Burko, Chapter Twelve Point Three.